Hello YouTube. I thought that I will record some test cutting today. And I just mounted a piece of uh, 6082 aluminium. It's 20 millimeter thick. And I got a 6 millimeter two fluter. Pretty cheap one from China mounted. I think it's around four or five bucks. And as you can see, I've been making some chips already, and the linear rail upgrade is working better than expected. However, the problem now is the table. Still get a lot of vibrations from from these ones, and uh, yeah, they are. All, way too soft. I did buy some some very nice uh, uh, stuff here for, for work holding that works super smooth but uh, the problem is that uh, when um, tightening here I don't even have to tight, tighten super hard but uh, the aluminium just flexes so Hopefully I will have, have money, money pretty soon to add a solid piece of uh, aluminium here. And yeah, being pretty tired due to some pollen allergy. Spring is arriving here in Sweden. And I decided to buy some, some bellows to use cover up here. They haven't really had the, the energy to, to mount them yet. I have to make some kind of uh, some kind of sheet here with an angle. And I actually only bought one and then, then I split it into to two so I'll have to, to come up with some way to mount this one to some some sheet here and I just made a small little little test piece here in fusion so the plan is to do some slotting at first here but uh, I'm using a trace uh, toolpath for that and I will go for two millimeters in depth, so that will be interesting. And then the plan is to do small adaptive tool path.
So let's take a look at it. So I had to throw in one more adaptive since I made a small mistake here with the heights. But uh, yeah, if I leave some stock and then come back and take off just a little bit of material here, I think I think the the finish will be very nice. But this was just a test, kind of uh, like pushing it and to be honest I don't know really what it can do but uh, it surely can do or perform above my expectations and I have no need to, to remove this much of material in just a couple of minutes. I think that uh, this router will be very nice when I'm done with the Y-axis linear rail upgrade and have a solid piece of aluminium here as work table. And this little thing here I threw in just for fun. And the end mill is I don't know, some coding has disappeared, but it still performs very good, I think. And as always, I'm a bit out of time, so I can make this look a lot better if I, if I take an hour or so when doing the tool paths. But I need to go and eat now, but I hope you enjoy this and I will come back with uh, with some more videos when I have some time but next thing to do is to mount the bellows so that I can cut out the motor mounts and get the lathe, lathe going pretty soon. So enjoy and have a nice um, week.